Hello everybody, it's Dio here from Firmbit for Gaming, bringing you a Bellright video. Today we're doing a review of the early access, as well as taking a look at its current state, as well as what we can expect next. For those that are just checking out Bellright because they've heard about it and are curious, or for those that are new to the channel, Bellright is a survival resource gathering city and army builder game. Without spoiling too much about the storyline, you start off as an individual, you have to go make some friends, they join you, and you can build your own villages, gather resources from scratch, they help you out, and you create your own armies, and you go out there and complete the storyline as you see fit. So there is a three-tier technology tree, there's an awesome story that I've kind of alluded to, I don't want to spoil too much about that. It's super fun, you can follow the storyline, or you can just go do your own thing, as, a, as you see fit, you're not tied to the story by any means. There is easily between 100 to 200 hours of gameplay and much, much more. I myself am close to 600 hours of gameplay between playing solo as well as the co-op feature where you can play with up to four people in a group. So you and three of your friend, friends can play this and have just the time of your life. What does Bellright do well? Well, it's got absolutely stunning scenery that I've seen firsthand, as well as they had a screenshot competition on their Discord, and some of the visuals were just out of this world. They have beautiful ponds, mountains, the environment, so like thunderstorms and that sort of thing are top-notch. The, the visuals are just absolutely beautiful. The follower system that they have in place when you recruit people and they help you build your villages or outposts, whatever you have them doing, is pretty sophisticated and pretty amazing. I hadn't seen this before in any other games, and it is pretty awesome to have people join you, and they, they can do the grunt work of, you know, chopping down the trees, gathering supplies, while you concentrate on the fun stuff like leading your armies in battle and completing quests or whatever you want to see fit. So it's always nice to have where your primary base can evolve while you're out doing the, the gritty things that you need to do to advance the storyline or to continue building your empire. Speaking about that, the outpost and delivery system that they have is pretty phenomenal, pretty cool, and it just is awesome to see. It gives you really that idea of actually expanding your empire as the deliveries go back and forth between places, and it's just pretty awesome. There's, of course, videos on that if you're curious about that in particular, but it is the first time I've seen something like that, and I just love it. And they've done so many tweaks along the way to make it even better. The technology progression is also awesome. Like I said, they have three tiers of technology, and progressing through that adds its own challenge each along the way. And speaking about challenge, the challenge settings that they have on the game, you can make it as easy as you want or as ridiculously hard as you want. So there is something for everybody. I do recommend if you're trying it out for the first time, don't go for the hardest right off the bat. It is definitely hard, especially if you're playing solo and even with your friends, it is still remarkably challenging. Just a variation from easy to hard is pretty phenomenal and they have different kind of uh, multiple settings that you can change to make it hard if you know if I can. So it's like for one instance, you can make the one level bad guys very annoying and then the final bad guys less annoying or you can make everybody equally as annoying and i'm trying not to spoil it too much but they have very cool challenge settings that you can um, play with from there and then the last thing that i think they do phenomenally well is the developer involvement with the player base from the get-go from launch they were very receptive to the feedback they were getting from the players and they have went out of their way to make several several improvements to the game and they constantly continue to do it at the start there was weekly updates and now they've moved into monthly updates where they are pushing out big things to the game each and every month and they've even went so far on their discord to create an elder council where they took players who could submit applications and then other players would vote on them and they have taken the those who were voted for i don't know the exact number uh, probably five or seven, something like that, and put them on this elder council where they have get asked questions and the, the forum is open for everybody to view and in-depth conversations about the game, some of the mechanics, ideas of what they would like to see, and very much they are involved with the players in helping getting the player's opinion to help shape where this game will be going. 
So what have the developers done since launch? So I just wanted to give credit where credit is due because they have done so much. So some of the improvements that they have made is to the buildings. So they added a new building for us because we were like, when we cut, chopped down all the trees, they don't come back, uh, which is quite normal. So they gave us a building of forester to, to help the deforestation problem that we were having. There's issues or for getting our armies together and how that was worked um, mechanically at the start. So they gave us a building that would help th with that being the staging ground. They've tweaked the food production values from a few buildings to make our lives easier when it didn't quite make sense. So like I said, they've been very involved with the players listening to our feedback and taking that to heart and making improvements along the way. They also added improvements to some of our village buildings, our house and warehouse, increasing capacities where it made sense to do. They tweaked the technology tree where a couple things just weren't quite as easy to unlock as what they had envisioned. So they listened to players again and tweaked that to make it easier to where it made more sense. They've made various amazing UI improvements and comparing it from day one to now is just unbelievable. The quality of life that they've given us by making these improvements is pretty phenomenal they address the delivery and storage system they gave us the ability with deliveries to do top-ups and i know that some of this may not make a lot of sense to those that haven't played the game before but these are all big items that they have given us for our quality of life and to make just the game that much better they basically took some sore parts like this was an amazing game from the get-go but they took a few of the sore points from us listened to the feedback and then made the adjustments almost instantly they have also given us more things for the storage system with some filtering our ability to copy settings from one building to another to also have food crafting orders and much much more and of course some hilarity that they gave us for fun as well is they gave us the ability to practice combat so that you can practice in a safe environment before going out there to face the enemy and as well, you can always duel your friends to see if you're better than they are. Currently, there is no formal roadmap that exists, but the developers have come out and said that they are, their current plan is they are working on stabilizing the base game, fixing some of the existing bugs that are still out there, as well as addressing some of the crash issues that occasionally happens. They are also going to add in some elements that they feel like it is missing, they weren't very specific, and I know that's a bit of a tease, but that's all I got. And they're going to be addressing these issues as well as doing minor improvements to the game from the suggestions the players had before moving on to their future plans. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, and it's sort of kind of minor on the end of like fixing bugs and that sort of thing, and not much for in regards to new content for new players or existing players. But that is still pretty phenomenal. They're going to work on those sort of things just to give us more quality life while actually playing the game in regards to fixing those minor bugs and preventing future crashes before adding on more and more content, which could then cause, you know, the spiraling problem of the, exi of the problems existing while the new stuff is out. But talking about their future plans, some of the future plans that they have uh, alluded to would be they're going to include more quests, more regions for us to uncover as well as additional villages for us to be able to vi visit eventually down the road like i'm talking a long ways off but there would be extended content potentially dlcs they're also been talking about adding in additional mechanics but they didn't include what those would be there was talk about expanding the technology tree from three that it currently sits at now to five or six or something like that they're also going to be adding in cosmetics buildings that we can use to build or slash personalize our own villages and outposts. Currently, there's only a couple buildings that allow us the ability to do that. So there are plans to add in more of those. And lastly, I personally believe based on how conversations have been going and as well as when we move from the technology tree of three to five or six or whatever they end up going to, is we're going to be moving from our wooden buildings into stone where i believe we'll be able to make stone walls watchtowers and much much more which will then give us the ability to make although some amazing kind of castle type buildings or probably a castle itself and give us that whole look and feel and just kind of complete the medieval journey that we are experiencing in this genre to give us vast rolling 
cities with impressive buildings and it i can only imagine the capabilities that are going to be out there when these things come now i know that these future improvements are probably a long ways off and for those of us that have been playing since release we may have already beat the game and already several hundred of hours in and unfortunately there's no new content for us there's only being able to replay what we've already done so from a replayability standpoint, other than increasing the challenge setting and going from there for a different journey, there isn't a whole lot for us to do other than to bring our friends in and bring them into that experience and play through with them because the co-op is an incredibly different experience than playing solo. Overall, when you think about it and the early release price tag that is attached to the game and the fact that we can get several hundred hours out of this out of this game it is definitely a worthwhile investment i for sure do not regret purchasing this game like i said i'm almost at 600 hours i've enjoyed it immensely and i can't wait to see what they're going to bring us continue to bring our way let me know in the comments what your thoughts is of the current status and what you are hoping they are going to release and bring our way and as well about your journey, how much have you enjoyed this game? Did it hit the mark? I know it definitely did for me. But anyhow, that's all I wanted to share with you today. As always, we appreciate your like, shares, and subscribe. So please click those buttons. And until next time, I hope you're enjoying Bellrite, and we'll see you in the next video.